Well, it's early evening here in Florida on the 4th of July, which is, you know, American Independence Day. We celebrate the independence of our nation by drunkenly barbecuing all day as a prelude to launching a rocket assault on the sky. And the off chance that that sky being above America might think that it's better than America will teach that sky. Um, before driving drunkenly down our highways, it's a little tradition we have. But, uh, I'm skirting all that tonight, staying home and watching the neighbors that, uh, wisely decided to skip the driving drunkenly down the highways, too, and stay home as well and light off their fireworks. You probably hear some of them in the background as I'm speaking. Um, or anyway, earlier. Oh, there you go. Um, you always thought it was funny because they often refer to the 4th of July as our nation's birthday, but it's really more of a date of conception. The birthday, our birthday isn't really until much later. It's, uh, when the Constitution was ratified, um, and like ten years later, um, that's when we became the United States of America. Before that, we were the Confederate States of America, being organized under the Articles of Confederation. Hmm. That was one of the things the, uh, uh, the southern side of the fucking war was sort of pushing, and, you know, with the Confederate States of America, like, well, we're taking it back to the old school, what this nation was originally founded on, the freedom of independence, you know, and all that, you know, harking all that kind of bullshit, but, you know, I mean, everybody's going to try and make their bullshit sound as good as possible, because, you know, that's how you get people, I guess that's how you get them going, you know. I mean, there's the truth, and then there's the truth, you know, and the Constitution, which was, of course, written and ratified later, and the Declaration of Independence is what this day is about, um, it tells, you know, just as document for it, it tells the truth, you know, we the people, which sounds good, and it's true, there are, were some people, and, and they could reasonably ascribe we to them as a collective group, but wasn't really completely true. Like, I mean, they could have been more specific about who we, the people, were. Like, you know, we, the white, land-owning males. <laughs> but that, that doesn't sound very inclusive, so I, I guess I can understand why they went with we, the people, but one thing that's always gotten me, you made the Declaration of Independence, is, um, the way it starts, we hold these truths to be self-evident. We hold these truths to be self-evident. Well, if it's self-evident, you wouldn't really need to write the document stating it, would you? I mean, it would be self-evident. You know, you don't have to write, well, you, we hold these truths to be self-evident. The sun is hot. You know, I'm, I'm kidding. Water is wet. Self-evident. You don't really need to write a document stating that. Um, Originally, they wanted to, uh, I think Jefferson had put in something about they hold these truths to be sacred, and, or some something, some such nonsense, and uh, Ben Franklin was like, no, 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 we don't want to, we want to make this secular sounding as possible, you know, we don't want to found a religious government, or even, you know, hint that that's what we're trying to do, because, you know, all the different sects would get pissed off at each other immediately, and start, oh, who's going to be in control? So, anyway. Fourth of July in a nutshell.